This is the Easy Cot from Buyers of Maine. What is going on guys? Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel. The channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. In this episode, we're looking at the Buyer of Maine. I keep mispronouncing that as Buyers because I have a friend named Bill Myers, but it's Buyer of Maine Easy Cod. This is the cot that allows you to just open it up and set it up. I'm actually going to show you me in this video setting it up and then taking it down so you can see in real time exactly how long that takes. Now, I spent three nights using this cot in my tent to test it and to see how well it worked. So this is some footage of the cot actually set up in my tent. Now, I was using a closed cell foam uh, mat with a inflatable REI co-op mat on top of that just to give me a little bit more comfort. And also, I wasn't sure if I was going to be cold or not. Um, it worked really well. It was really comfortable in the cot. But I did notice some soreness on my back after each night. I, I don't think that's a problem with this cot in particular. I think it's just an issue with all cots because you're going to get a little bit of sag. You also notice that I did add a Teton Sports Cot Organizer, which, by the way, if you'd like to support the channel, I've got links to all this stuff at hardcorecampinggear.com. So I do want to reiterate that point just to make sure that you're absolutely clear before you buy this thing. It does not come with the pockets or the pouches along alongside the cot. That was an aftermarket purchase through Amazon. It's about 18 bucks, but I like having that there because I can put a gun or a knife or my glasses, for example, and know that in the middle of the night, if I need any of that kind of stuff, I can reach down and it's right there. So the cot doesn't come with that. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out was that I did, I was perfectly comfortable sleeping in the cot and was 100% uh, warm with the sleeping bag you just saw, as well as a couple other sleeping bags I was testing. But the following day, I did have a little bit of back pain. And by the end of the, after the third night, it was enough to motivate me to find a solution so that I could actually use this thing comfortably and not have to enjoy the back pain. So what I ended up doing was I ended up ordering a milliard three panel four inch mat and I'm going to test that and report back in a future video to let you know how that worked to see if it helped with uh, the back pain because you do get a little bit of a sag using any type of cot like this. Now let me show you exactly how long it takes to set the thing up and to break it down because I think you're going to be impressed with really how easy it is.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this cot, post them in the comments below. Or for that matter, if you actually have this cot, I'd be curious as to what your experience has been like as well. Post them in the comments below. For that matter, if you have some other cot that you just absolutely love, I'm always looking for new stuff to review. So also post that in the comments below. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to be notified when I come out with the follow-up to this video about how that three panel milliard four inch uh, foam cushion ends up working out for me. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one guys.